are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of baseball on MLB Network. The Midsummer Classic between the American League All-Stars and the National League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to our special coverage of the Major League Baseball All-Star Game here on MLB Network. I'll be joined in a moment by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plesak, but first let's give you a look at this year's American and National League All-Stars as voted on by you, the fans. Final preparations being made on the field. We've got a fun night in store. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. And now, your 2020 National League All Star. Briefly now, we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this All-Star game. Julio Arias, Mexican-born lefty, is the man on the mound in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, when you look at the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done. Controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win. And that's why it's going to be fun to watch him work in this one here today. All right, so here's how the National League All-Stars line up on D. And let's take a look at outfielder Mookie Betts. You can make the argument he's the most dynamic player in our sport. Don't try and come inside with a fastball because it's getting turned around. But I don't think people realize how good he patrols the outfield. The ability to play all three positions with speed and a bazooka for an arm. In now, Jose Altuve. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now the one and one pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. And there's one gone to start the night. Stepping in, Michael Brantley. Bases are empty, one man out. Popped him up. Real Muto is there. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. That is good. From the Houston Astros. The third baseman, Alex. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The 1 1 home. It's a fastball that misses. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Fastball and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. If you're at the plate right now, you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. 
you have to be aggressive in the zone right here. And we'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses, and it's a two-out walk. Batting four. From the Houston Astros. George Springer the next to hit. Man at first after the two-out walk. Springer. Here's the one and one delivery. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is James Kingsley. Hey, Dero, James Kingsley's a pretty good umpire. He doesn't get too excited, keeps things under emotions. He's a pretty good ball and strike umpire. Yeah, James Kingsley will never show you up, and he's always approachable. A swing and a ground ball to third. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. So they pick up no runs on no hits, no errors, and a runner left on. It's the American League nothing, National Leaguers coming to bat. It's the Major League Baseball All-Star Game, exclusively on MLB Network. Luis Severino, a right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan, any thoughts? Well, with a guy like him, you're just looking for quality innings. Usually he'll give you six or seven, and he keeps the team in the ball game. But when you think about it, what else do you really want from your starter? He's capable of shutting a team down and dominating, but that's not what's expected of him all the time. All right, let's check out the American League All-Stars on defense. And I want to focus on Jose Altuve. Pound for pound, the best player in big league baseball. A gold glove second baseman, he can do it all. Five tools, the ability to turn a double play with the best of them. Coming to the plate now, Jonathan Villar. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Trout has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Batting second. From the Los Angeles Dodgers. The right field. Mookie. So stepping in, Mookie Betts. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. One. One out, nobody on. Now this is swung out, and here's another fly ball out to right field. On the move is Trout. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Batting third. From the Colorado Rockies. The third baseman. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Bases are empty here with two men out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Pitch on the way. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. A bouncer to the left side. On to the first baseman, Guriel, and that will end the inning. He played an inning. No score here on MLB Network.
Second inning set to go. And digging into bat next, the Cuban import Yuli Guriel. The one two is in off the plate. Fouled away. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. He walked a guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Acuna's there for it. Makes the play one away. That is good. From the Boston Red Sox, the designated hitter. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. And a 2 1 slider is looked at for a called strike two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 one more time. Helpful. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Now the three and two pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle and into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Hey guys, that's an excellent job right there. That's a back foot slider. Usually those are kryptonite for most batters, and he's able to fight it off, keep his hands inside the baseball, and deliver a base hit. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. High and wide, two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit to third. Arenado has it, but the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. Oh, but the feed to third is offline. So problems out there in right field as this is going to wind up going as an E9. So it's second and third following the error. And digging in is the big time power threat, Mitch Garver. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Hey, as a former infielder, nothing hurts your heart more than making errors behind your pitchers. Let's see if this guy can pick him up right here. The ball and two strikes. Here it is. This is popped up. VR waits on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Great scoring opportunity miss right there. You talk about frustration. Popping it up with two runners in scoring position. He'd like to get that one back. So here's Francisco Lindor now. No score here as we play inning number two. Swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. And it's fouled away.
Now here's a check swing and they appeal down to first no swing so that's ball four. Next to the American League. He almost got him to commit there as we take another look at it in slow motion. He comes awfully close to breaking that plane, but he was able to hold back. Strong wrist, and he gets a trip to first because of it. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in Jose Altuve. The set. And the one two into the gap in left center. This is down and it'll head for the wall. One run is scored. He's in at second safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Yeah, with the bases loaded, he didn't walk a run in. So instead, he makes the cardinal mistake of putting it right in the heart of the plate. And when you do that, you're going to pay the price. And that's exactly what happens with a two RBI double. At the plate, Michael Brantley. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. This inning hasn't gone the way he wanted it to, but it's not a total disaster yet. Sometimes pitching is about damage control, so if he can strand these guys out there, that would be pretty huge. The 2-1 pitch fouled off. The set and the 2 2. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. So a full count now. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3 2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Here's the payoff pitch. Here's a chopper to first. Freeman's got it, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. So two runs on two hits, two costly errors, and a couple of men left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. It's the American League two and the National League nothing. ready to go for the last half of the inning and next will be the imposing power bat Chris Bryant hey we're still in the early stages in this one they're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started now the one and one pitch is a fastball taken high for a ball Bryant looking at a three and one count. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's three one in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Batting fifth from the Atlanta Braves. Digging in, Freddie Freeman. Freddie. First chance for him here with a man Freeman. on following the leadoff walk. The 2-2. Two -two. Well, the 1-2 pitch didn't go his way, and now a miss there on 2-2. Two and two. You know he doesn't want this at bat to get away from him, so I think we're going to see a challenge pitch on a full count. Boy, that misses as well. It's back-to-back -back walks to start out the inning. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. So striding forward now, Ronald Acuna. He'll get to take his first cuts here.
ready to deliver the one and two. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. So a three-run blast to straightaway left as the National League has now taken a 3-2 lead. Boy, talk about how an inning can get away from you, right? Three-run homer already in this inning. They've yet to give up an out, and this could turn out to be one of those really ugly innings. Into the box, David Dahl. And he fouls this one off. The one two. It's a changeup that drops below the knees for the ball. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. Three runs already home here. Fouled away. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Diving try, but it's through into the outfield. Boy, so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat to the pitcher right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Dull. On at first, nobody out. And he goes and chops this one out towards second. The second for one, relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. So that one wasn't quite hit sharply enough to turn two. Yeah, choppers like that make it really tough. You can't make the ball get to you much faster, so the key is making sure you field it cleanly and at least get one, which they did there. Stepping in, JT Realmuto. Runner at first here, one man out. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. Now the 2-1 is taken, ball three. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The three and one pitch. He is swung on and missed. A full count now. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. Now the payoff pitch home. Hit in the air out toward left. After it is Brantley. He gets there, and that's the second out. Nevada, number two, second baseman, 
So it's back to the top of the order now. And the switch hitter, Jonathan VR, will be the next to bat. The set going, and the 1 1 pitch. Strike taken. The throw is not going to get him as he swipes second. Well, that stolen base was about as bang bang as they come, and his show track demonstrates to us right here it was his top speed that really made all the difference. He's definitely got wheels, and they were on display there. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Two balls and two strikes to Jonathan VR. He certainly has an open base down there, but you don't want your defender standing flat footed for much longer. The set and the 2 2. And a half hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run home run. We've played two. It's the National League three and the American League two. Your Jacob DeGrom, a six-foot-four-inch right-hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 48, Jacob DeGrom. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring up Alex Bregman. One one home. High chopper to third. Arenado's got it. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The center fielder, number four, Joel Springer. So the base is empty here with one away, and that brings in George Springer. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. One strike. Two and two. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. And a full count to George Springer. It's three and two. Pitch home. Line drive to left. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. The first baseman, number 10, Julie Upke. Here's Yuli Gurriel, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Third inning, already a 3-2 ball game. And now a slider in on the hands, and he's lucky that one didn't come and get him. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. And it's fouled away. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt you. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. Now the three and two pitch. Smoke toward the hole. A dive and he knocks it down. 
and he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count, but the batter was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking ball. So now to the plate, Mike Trout in there, and it's even now, 2-2. Two and two. This is what fires me up right here. You don't get a chance to see this every day of the week. You got the reigning Cy Young Award winner squaring off against the reigning MVP. That's why you pay the price of admission. Here's the two and two. Chopper to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. AL leave a pair. Still a 3-2 ball game. Jose Urquidy, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Number 65, Jose Urquidy. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring up Mookie Betts. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Now here's a check swing, and they appeal down to first. No swing, so that's ball four. Now batting the third base. Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time. And he draws the walk. Here's Nolan Arenado. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 3-1. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. A runner at first with no outs here. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. Here's Chris Bryant now. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Three. Three and two now. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. He's set. Here's the three and two. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Well, you got to love a live young arm. He's got an electric fastball. And if he can learn to harness that and work in his solid secondary stuff, he's going to have a really nice career on the mound. Not everyone is gifted with a fastball like that. Into the box now. Freddie Freeman well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Betts rounds the corner and is headed home. As he arrives at second without a play, as also on the play, a run comes across to score. Just a great at bat there. That one out double gets a run across, and now they've got runners at second and third and are one solid swing away from making this a real big inning. Standing in now, Ronald Acuna. A little bit outside, two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Now the 2-1 pitch. Drilled to first. Guriel picks it up. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now batting, the left fielder, David Dahl. Two men on, 
with two out. And into bed next will be the outfielder David Dahl. Boy, he just threw that fastball by him. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Runners at second and third with two gone. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. We played three full. It's the National League four and the American League two. Patrick Corbin of South Paw standing six foot three gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Patrick Corbin. Leading off the inning, Mitch Garver, and they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Here's the one and two delivery. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. the curveball that's in the dirt that time and it's back to even now at two and two well I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls he might have tried to do a little bit too much with it trying to get him to swing through it but it just ended up taking off on him a swing and a high drive to right center field that goes Betts still ranging back gone to lead off the inning Solo shot to right center as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. In now, Francisco Lindor nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. This is line to left, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the nine-hole hitter comes through with the base hit, and that brings up the top of the order now with nobody out. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big oh, leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. At the plate, Jose Altuve to one and two now. Looking for the punch out and the offering. Oh, right back to him on the mound. On to Freeman, a double play. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. And here's the left handed hitting Michael Brantley. Three runs, five hits, no errors thus far for the American League. Line towards center field. That gets down, and the inning continues. Two out hit. That'll bring Alex Bregman to the plate as well. Now batting, third baseman, Alex Bregman. To the plate now Alex Bregman on the run this one in on him and he can't connect so he finds himself down one and two now 
really tied him up on that one. Yikes, he kind of looked clueless on that swing right there, Matt. If I'm pitching, I'm going right back to that same pitch. Softly hit out towards short. VR at the bag, and that retires the side. But the damage is done as thanks to the solo home run, this is now a one-run game. To the bottom of inning number four we go. It's the National League four and the American League three. Your attention, please. Call to the bullpen now, and the man making the appearance is the hard-throwing youngster Chris Sale. Sale. With Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian with you as Trevor Story digs into the right side of the batter's box to kick off the inning. One one is taken for ball two. Now the two one pitch is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to a hundred miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Two and two count. Here it comes. And a check swing here, but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around, according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big, strong guys because once they're committed to swinging, it's hard for them to slow their swings down, and that appeared to be the case there. The one two. Runs coming fast and furious here. 4-3 our score as we play the fourth. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Stepping in now, Jonathan VR fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Hit down the line at first, but this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at 2 and 2. Sail into the windup and delivers. Line drive to left. Brentley will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We played four full. The NL's on top, four to three. Madison Bumgarner, a 6 4 southpaw, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Number 40, Madison Bumgarner. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And former World Series MVP George Springer bats next. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Bumgarner has finished off more than 1,900 career innings during his time in the big leagues, and with an ERA just hovering around the 3.00 benchmark. And another foul ball. Here's another one, too. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. Great job to lay off that pitch after fouling off so many previous to it. I got to believe that pitchers certainly get frustrated in these types of at-bats. Here now the 2-2. Hit sharply on the ground. 
That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. Into the box now, Yuli Gurriel. And a breaking ball runs in and gets him. And I doubt there was any intent behind that. You always want to see the curve break a lot, but this one breaks a little bit too much. Comes all the way across the plate and nicks the batter. So striding in, J.D. Martinez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Line to the right side, and that's in there. Base hit. Springer is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate. It's a 4-4 game. Standing in now, Mike Trout. And that misses two and two. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, Whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. 3-2 pitch. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Digging in once again, Mitch Garver. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out. This ball's down, and that could bring in a run. The runner from second crosses the plate. It's a five to four game. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Where you get that base hit to give your team the lead, you have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. In now, Francisco Lindor. And it's one and two. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. A swing, and he pops him up on the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now back, second baseman, Jose Altuve. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Lifetime numbers against Bumgarner. He carries a batting average of 389. He also has one home run. Two balls and a strike to Jose Altuve. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. to keep this a one-run game the pitch off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone it's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there pretty much unable to hit any of his spots and now he's at three and one and he's put him into another great hitting count three and one here it is full count now Five runs, nine hits. No errors thus far for the American League. Swing and a line drive. Ah, but he just missed his extra bases.
He set the 3 2, and he fouls this one off. He set the payoff pitch, drilled to the right side, and that's by him into right field for a base hit. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the American League five and the National League four. Carlos Carrasco gets the call from the bullpen to pitch in relief. Number 59, Carlos Carrasco. At the plate, Mookie Betts in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Pitch on the way. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it now fun to watch him go favorite. about his business. Ah, no, uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the box, Nolan Arenado. Skied into straightaway right. Trout giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now batter, the designated hitter, Fred Ryan. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, former National League MVP, Chris Bryant. Two out, nobody on. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. And he comes back with a gorgeous slider there for strike two. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw in time and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. We're through five here at the ballpark. The AL leads it five to four. Jose Quintana takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 62, Jose Quintana. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Brantley. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Here now the 2 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Third baseman, number two. Ready for another shot now, Alex Bregman. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out both guys in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. To the plate now, George Springer. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. On his way to second is Springer. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. 
That was a great job of driving that ball, extending his arms very well, was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. Stepping in now, Yuli Gurriel. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Got a good spot to be in right now. Pitchers fall behind in a count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. 3-1, and one, here it is. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. You know he wants to end this inning right here on 3-2, and two, but... I don't think we'll see him lay one in on the next pitch there with a base open to work with. Two out here and a runner at second. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Danger averted following the two-out double. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Ryan Barucki enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Pitching for the American League. Number 56. Ryan Barucki. Bottom of the sixth inning now. And here comes the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. The 1-1. One, one. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground at the left side. Hey, another leadoff knock right there. This game has been full of offense, full of traffic on the base pass. Let's see who's going to get that big double in the gap to clear him. Late now, Ronald Acuna. Hard on the ground towards short. Altuve for one. To Guriel, and they get them both. Well, they got the tying run on base, but one ground ball later, and it's gone. He's going to be frustrated with himself after that. David Dahl to the plate now. A hit in two tries so far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the American League 5 and the National League 4. Your Seth Lugo complete. is on to pitch from the now bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 67. Seth, Seth. Lugo. Austin Meadows is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number Austin. seven. Meadows. Lays off two and two now. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. High in the air out to center field. Acuna's there for it. One down. Now batting. The right fielder. My God. Wow. 
Stepping up now, Mike Trout. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Bases are empty, one man out. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first, and no swing. It's ball two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Another try at 2 2. To short. On to Freeman at first, and there are two away now. The catcher, number eight, Mitch Garber. Coming to the plate now, Mitch Garver. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. And there's ball two now. Now the two one pitch. Hit high and deep to right center. And Mookie will make the play, and that retired the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. It's the American League five and the National League four. Ken Giles gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Giles. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop, Trevor Story. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first down. Wow, that's awfully impressive right there. The pitch before now was really it. close. Hector. Called the ball. What does he do? He comes back Real with a better pitch go. and gets the punch out. So now to the plate, JT Real Muto. Now a foul tip that's held onto at the plate, and the count moves to one and two now. Right hander starts to loosen out from the bullpen now. One out, nobody on. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The next one two pitch. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand, so they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. Wilmer Flores will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And 
And the inning goes away in unceremonious fashion on a swing and a miss at a ball way outside the strike zone. One, two, three, go the National Leaguers. And the deficit holds at five to four. Wilmer Flores will remain in the game at second base after coming on as a pinch hitter in the last half inning. Number 41, Wilmer Flores. Josh Hader has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Hader. Ready to begin the eighth, and with it comes Francisco Lindor to the plate. Matty, he checks every box. Charisma, smile, hits from both sides of the plate with pop, defense, you name it. GM's dream right here. The one-two. This is in the air to left. Waiting on it is Dahl. Makes the play, one away. Now back, second baseman, Jose Altuve. Ramon Urias will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. That was a nasty looking slider that Come time. Fielder, yeah, that was really well executed, Michael. Matt. The classic strikeout Michael. pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, Michael. and unless you hit it out front, Michael. there's Michael. nothing much you can do with that. Jordan Alvarez will get the call Number to pinch 44. hit here as we'll see what he can do Jordan. with two out and the base Alvarez. is empty. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Here it comes. Two and two. Two and two. Two out, nobody on. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. American League goes down in order. They hold on to a 5-4 lead. Ramon Urias stays in the ballgame in the eighth spot and takes over at second base. Now playing left field, number 44, Jordan Alvarez. Jordan Alvarez remains in the game, batting ninth and manning left field. Alvarez. Now at second base. Liam Hendricks is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Now for the American League. Charlie Blackman will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And, ooh, might have thought it was high, but it's a strike three and two now. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Now the payoff pitch home. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Left fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting third baseman, Nolan Arenado. Javier Baez will come on as a pinch hitter. Number nine, Javier Baez. Faces are empty, one man in. Out. 
And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball. Every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Francisco Mejia will get a shot here as a pinch hitter. Hitting for the National League. Number 27. Francisco Mejia. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. The first baseman, number five. Joey Votto will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Number 19, Joey Votto. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Taken, but called a strike. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? Full count, three and two. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed. And now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Bryce Harper will start to loosen up in the on-deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. Big spot. Two out, possible tying, and go-ahead runs on base. And he misses two and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And it's two balls and two strikes now. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. He set the 2-2. Two -two. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. So they let him off the hook here by scoring no runs despite the two walks. We've played eight full. The AL out in front here, 5-4. Charlie Blackman will stick around as he'll take over in right field. For the National League. Now playing right field. Number 19. Javier Baez is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Number three. Right. Joey Votto will stay in the ball game as he'll take over at first base. Now at third base. Bryce Harper stays in the ball game in the nine hole and takes over out in center field. Right. Corey Knable enters from the pen to start the ninth now, inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Miguel Cabrera will try to get his club a little ninth inning insurance as he'll grab a bat to pinch hit leading things off here. back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now and now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose
And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Fouled away. Now the three and two pitch. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four. And they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Giancarlo Stanton come on to pinch hit now with a runner at first and nobody out. Giancarlo Stanton. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Good breaking ball there laid off for the second strike. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first out. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective. I think Matt what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels that fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter you think it can drive it but it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Number 24. Yes money. Fastball is swung on and missed. Grandal is considered one of the best defensive catchers in the game today. He often gets praise for his work behind the plate, and I know a lot of pitchers have made it clear that his presence back there adds a level of comfort that not many others can replicate. Dahl's in pursuit. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now back, the designated hitter. Salvador Perez will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Salvador Perez. A ball and two strikes. A runner on first with two away. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hard hit ball to short. Throw goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine due up in the bottom of inning number nine. It's a lead for the American League, five to four. Miguel Cabrera will stay in the game, taking over at third base and batting in that eighth spot. Now playing center field. Giancarlo Stanton Giancarlo. will stay in the ball game as he takes over in center. Now in center, number 27. Yosmani Grandal stays Stanton. in the ball game after pinch now hitting as he'll take over at first base. Miguel Cabrera. Roberto Ozuna comes on looking for a save here in the bottom number of the ninth inning. Roberto Ozuna. Now at first base, number 24. Yosmani Grandal. Now in the box, David Dahl. He's two for three and looking for more here. The one-two. Pulled toward right center field. Stanton has a read on it. Makes the play one away. Now batter. Not your stop. And that brings in the power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. 
0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Two and one as he misses with the slurve there. One out, nobody on. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Alvarez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Up next for the National League, the catcher, JT Real Muto. Into the box now, JT Real Muto. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Has him down to their final strike. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, this one had its moments of drama and excitement. In the end, these guys came away with the victory and look on to the next one. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4, the final tally. The American League used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Chris Sale pitches well enough to get the W, so that's a wrap here tonight. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, we're all thanking you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. Have a great night. Final line score tonight. First for the victorious American League All Stars. Five runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 10 men on base. For the home team, four runs on five hits. Two errors. They left five men on base. The winning pitcher is Chris Sale. The loss goes to Madison Bumgarner. Time of the ball game: three hours and 11 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.